I once, I didn't hear myself. <laughs> so, welcome in this morning. Thank you very much for joining me, Lazara and Mishiro. And anyone else that may join us later, or anybody that's checking out the VOD later. My name is Angelo Frydenrock. This is our third outing into Subnautica. The wonderful wet world of wildness and wonder. So, thus far we uh, had a session where we didn't know what the heck was going on. Uh, we almost died. Then we had a session where we still didn't really know what the heck was going on. And then we did die. And now, we're in part three where we are going to be... Uh, Gathering materials and learning how to build a base and hopefully not die again. <laughs> not gonna lie, I've got a lot of recipes up on my screen. I don't remember what most of them do or what I was doing with them because, yep, that's okay. We will be gathering a whole bunch of materials today and checking stuff out and then hopefully building. Alright. So yeah, this is my first time playing the game, and I've been having a lot of fun with it so far, even if I have been kind of fumbling a bit, actually. But that's okay, let's go ahead and see. We got in our inventory, we have our bare necessities here. Uh, looks like we are good on that stuff. Got the sea glider. Alright, let's go find some stuff. Uh, how far are you into, like, the overall story phase of the game? Uh, so, funny story. Um, Kat actually knows a lot about this game. And was really good with, uh, giving me some details. I failed to make my, uh, my repair tool. So, I guess there was, like, a whole bunch of cool story stuff I could have been noticing or doing. But I had no idea. Um... Question, is there audio coming in from the game? Is it being is it being weird? Hold on. And this is flatline here. What the heck's going on? Hello, capture tool. What are you doing? Uh huh. What is going on with you? Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, capture device? What? Huh. One second, as I try and figure out what's going on with the capture device here. It's been very weird. Oh, there is audio? Oh, okay, okay. Sorry for the delay in the chat and all that good stuff. For some reason, it was showing no audio input on my side, and that's just weird. Well, if you guys say that there's audio, then there's audio. Okay, sorry for the hiccup here. You can hear the bubbles and stuff? Okay, cool. So it may just be my volume is low on my side. Alright, well, if you guys can hear it, that's the important thing. YouTube is a bit of a weird beast to figure out sometimes. Let's see. Let's see what we got. So. 
That this is a cool mechanic, by the way, that I did not know was a thing. The brain coral actually replenishes your air. It's like a Sonic the Hedgehog thing. Let's see. We got metal salvage. Yes, please. What do we got? What do we got? Interesting. I don't know what that was. Oh yeah, Cat told me a neat thing about these little floater guys. Apparently the mechanics on the game uh, are kind of borked with them. So if you decide to put them like on your uh, life pod, apparently there is a glitch where you can do that. And then your your life power will just kind of float off into the unknown. That's pretty cool to hear about. <laughs> Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency There we go. Increased. Let's grab that. Okay, this is the fishy. What do we got down here? Huh? You're interesting. Jelly shroom. I don't know what you do, but also, why is everything purple? Freaky. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Um. Ooh. Okay, Possibly we need to go. Wow. Uh oh. The map map got me caught. Oh wee wee Spadoosh <laughs> You deeper you go, oxygen driving faster, yeah. That's probably the mine's going around and relaxing. Yeah, the getting deep part is kinda tricky. Uh, especially when, according to Cat, at least, I don't have the materials I'm supposed to have. So I'm, like, really going out of sequence. Let's see here. Anything good down here? Anything? No. Checking it out. Yeah, fun fact that Cat told me when I first started this game was that apparently the game did me dirty. Because it started me out in a deeper segment than I should have been in. Because it's randomized, it turns out. But it's okay. I adapted well enough, I think. Ooh, silver. Yes, please. Hike. Let's see. What we got? What we got? But yeah, I've actually watched some YouTube videos, though, of people that thought it'd be funny to use the floaters on their uh, life pod and on other things, and the floaters have really weird physics, so it just kind of, like, sends it off into the unknown. Who's with you, huh? What? Bat. Get out of here. Well. Ascend! Whee! There we go. Alright, get our oxygen back. Let's go back down here. There were some rock deposits I wanted to look at before I so rudely erupted. Passing 100 meters. Where are they at? Oxygen efficiency they are. decreased. Lead. Maybe. There we go. Give me that kaba. Yeah, if you if you want some fun stuff to watch though, when it comes to the, the little, weird little flutter creatures, definitely check out some of the compilations people have made on YouTube. They're really funny. Because people uh, just 
they don't know what to expect and then suddenly their life support vessel just goes off into the abyss and then it is gone forever. Oh, quartz. Space. Oh, Ooh, bioreactor fragment. Neat! Well, that's one or two for that. Very cool, very cool. I don't know, I, I find this game actually really relaxing, to be honest. I mean, you do run across some monsters sometimes, but in general, I think it's a lot of fun and really neat. By the way, fun fact, this guy is the first Leviathan I've come across, and they're actually really cool. Cat told me that they're like super dangerous, but I don't know. I have never seen it. I'm getting some new materials. Okay. Yeah, apparently there's like one particular part of these guys that's like super dangerous, I guess. I just think they're really cool to watch. Ooh, acid mushrooms. Barnacle. Barnacle man. Also, props to Cat for telling me, though, about the, uh, the fact that you can mine off of them. Forever. Isn't the thing they sent away pretty important? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a game over. Like, there's, you can't get back to your base, so unless you've got some form of, uh, base you've already built, that's it. Hmm. Okay, well. Thanks for the stuff, buddy. Big ocean creatures where the, I'd be noping out of the game. You know, there's some things that jump at you, and I totally get that. Like, if you'd be afraid of those. The reefbacks are, like, super tame, though. I don't really see anything wrong with them. They're just kind of there. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Hmm. Nope, nothing to check out here. Ooh. Oh, I missed this. Sea moth. A vending machine. That's a bit random. I guess when you get thirsty. So, fun fact with the sea moth um, is that that is a key component to being able to go into the deep. Leviathan is a term you can apply to any species large aquatic. Also, hey Vesper, welcome in. Yeah, that's true. Leviathan does kind of apply to anything. Also, I feel like a dork because when I saw that Vesper joined, I waved, forgetting that this model has no hand things. <laughs> Let's see here. Thirty seconds. Uh, ooh, got more rock formations. I don't know if it's true or not, but Kat told me that uh, you have limited materials. Like, there comes a point where you cannot get more. Whew. Okay. Let's see, how's my inventory look? Let's see, supposedly there's another sea moth fragment around here. Supposedly. If you visit the game and deeper down there are definitely even bigger creatures. It makes you wonder what else we haven't discovered in our own ocean. Yeah, that's that's a real fact right there. We have no idea what's in our own ocean. Like even just taking current events with the uh, submersible that went down to the, tit the Titanic. Most people will just assume, yeah, it's crushed depth, but really, 
there really is so much we don't know down there that we don't know if well I mean we do know now but there was a period of speculation where we weren't sure if that's actually what happened or not and you can't really have that kind of speculation if you know everything you know Ooh. I feel like I just came down to uh, like an old Japanese city or something this is different It's like classic uh, Kyoto lighting. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Uh, those are seeds. I'm not going to need those, sadly. Seeds, I don't have that yet. Give me that. Give me, give me. 30 seconds. There we go. Whee! This is very harsh and difficult to explore the depths of the ocean. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of real life inside of the, the robot, so to say. But I actually was in the submarine field, and uh, it's kind of scary the thought of going down and not be able to see anything there. But it wasn't all bad though. Met a lot of people that I, you know, literally was trusting my life to and had a good time with it. Did something that you can't say that most people do in their life. It was pretty cool for that for that respect. Ow. What the Eh? What the heck just bit me? Rude. Uh Oh, it's one of you guys. The giant colossal squids, yeah. Very true, very true. Uh, let's go back to the pod for a sec here. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's a baby reef back. Hmm. Oh, let's get on back over to the base here. Hey, welcome in, Casey. Oh, I just realized something. One sec here. Adjust my camera. Since I'm focusing on this screen, I should put my camera on this monitor. <clears throat> okay. Into the escape pod. Okay, so looks like we have a new radio message. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in the VR. And I flew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Um, appreciate the confidence there, buddy, but you forgot to turn the mic off. <laughs> There's that, but what we know about the ocean is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those great mysteries that we probably will never solve. But in the space of humanity and what we do to the things that we come across, maybe it's not all bad that we don't know or do these things. Alright, so. Resources. I want to make that into some titanium. Yeah, I'm not sure if it came through, but thank you very much for joining, Casey. It's good to see you. Let's see. Copper wire. Uh, a wiring kit. I needed one of those. Yes. I 
Actually, funny story with that, uh, the captain just now. I'm so okay not knowing some things down there. <laughs> hey, that's, that's entirely respectable. Spe speaking of the not knowing about stuff, pretty, pretty funny that, uh, I've just watched a video yesterday about a captain of a cruise ship that completely capsized the ship because he didn't know what he was doing and then he just kept lying to everybody like that would fix anything. This kind of reminded me of that. Uh, let's see. So, I already have the mobile vehicle bay. I don't need that. I already have the sea glide. Don't need that. Um... What else did I need? I, I'm drawing a blank here. I forgot. Okay, so I do want to get one of these because I want to start building a base, I think. Give me that. Okay. How did you say? I work from home so I can usually be on. First time for YouTube stream though. And advantages so far. Uh, all good, Casey. I, I didn't know if my message went through. My mic cuts in and out a little bit. Um, I would say advantages for YouTube, actually, so far, pros and cons. Cons are that you, you have to adjust your stream settings pretty frequently. Like, if you're doing OBS, you have to switch between them. Me, personally, I use two different softwares. Uh, I have Meld, which is an, a, a Macintosh-based system for my YouTube streams, and then I have Twitch on OBS. That's me personally, though. I like keeping them separate. Um, no, no. I did not mean to do that. Dang it. Out with you. I meant to climb on board you, not take you in. But, yeah, I would say that pros and cons, the YouTube... The YouTube stuff doesn't have nearly as many functions and bonus things. But it is pretty good to use, though. Huh. It's like I get rid of some of this. What? Hello? But yeah, and I keep getting distracted. Give me a sec here. Uh, pros and cons, though. Cons, you don't have as many add-ons and stuff that you can use for your streams. Uh, you don't have as much customization options. But definite pros are the fact that when you, even though it's a streamlined process, it's easier to set up everything. You can do your own thumbnails right off the bat. And you get schedule your streams so people will know if they're subscribed to you. Uh, another pro to it is that even though it's a live stream, YouTube will still take this video after it's uh, broadcast and within a day or two they'll put it into the algorithm so it'll start showing up for people as long as you have the right tags put up on it. So on that regard it's actually killing two birds with one stone. You're building your base on YouTube by having people more exposed to your live streams instead of curated content and you're still getting more watch hours and more subscribers and likes and all those things just by the nature of having it on there. And also they don't have an issue with you taking your live stream and then downloading it and editing it and making series and stuff. I'm not really good at that stuff yet. I got to work on video editing and learn how to do it properly, but it's the option that's there and that's really cool. Twitch, I think the biggest thing is that Twitch is really based around getting a crowd and having that curled stick around. And if you lose the crowd, then you lose your audience. Whereas in this case, you know, I have 13 subscribers now. Thank you all very much. I have 13 subscribers. YouTube does the work for me. When I go to stream, it'll let you guys know. It sends notifications about me going live when I'm scheduling streams, all that stuff. And you don't have to happen to be on Twitch at the right time and hope that the notifications work. YouTube will literally email you this stuff. 
That's my personal experience, at least. Okay. Did you know Twitch has an export YouTube function? I actually do know they have that. I've I used it for a little while. Uh, what I end up running into though, quite frequently, was where it would error out. Twitch down, uh, Twitch export takes ages. I mean, hours to do. I can render, I could render videos faster than Twitch does exporting. Also, there's some kind of finagling you have to do with that too. But yeah, I do know that option exists. Although, shout out to Twitch on one thing though. If you want to keep your VODs, to the people that don't know this, if you want to keep your VODs for future reference, make sure you go into your content manager and then tell it to highlight the video. Even if you don't do anything to the video edit-wise, by highlighting it, it'll actually stay in your cache of videos and it won't just naturally expire. So I need, okay. I need copper wire to make that, okay. That's what I was thinking of, okay. So. Uh, oh, copper wire, copper wire. Stay on target. I. This is my deepest weakness in this game. There are so many things I struggle to keep track of them all and then I just forget what I'm doing. <laughs> Take a compass, thank you. All right, we got materials that I need for that. Um. I've got the wiring kit. What did I need the wiring kit for? One sec. Alright. Let us go find a place to build a habitat. You guys are so annoying. Leave me alone. Yeesh. Uh, this looks kind of green and friendly, but also it has a lot of meanies. I don't know if I want to stay here. Uh, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? I want to build my habitat, but I don't know where I want to build it yet. So I'm still searching out a, a place. Ooh! Ooh! Hello! A time capsule? What is that? Huh. Yeah, tired of you guys, man. Oh, it's an egg. Eh. But yeah, unlike that with any game that has multiple tests, yeah. Another thing with Subnautica, a bit of a nitpick I've got, is it, it gives you freedom to do what you want to do. Almost to a level of you don't know what to do. Hey, who fish? Come here. Oh. Ooh. I just got some sort of unlock for doing that. That's cool. 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm going up. I'm going up. Oh, that's another real big bonus too. Speaking of Twitch pros and cons and whatnot, is YouTube has built-in auto captioning. For Twitch, you would have to go find a third-party tool and utilize one of your in-spot in spot, uh, add-ons for that. So that's another cool thing. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can build a base. That was a good place. Oh, resources. Oh, fish I don't have. Hey. Hey. I'm trying to scan you. There. I 
original. Sure, I'll take original. Give me that. Uh, you know, I think this is a decent enough place. Let's see. Make sure I've cleared this out of anything unusual. Huh? To pick up something. I did Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. You know, this actually looks like a pretty good place to do it. Yeah. I like this place. Let's go to the top, get some air, and then we'll go with that. Up here, get some air, and then back down to start building. I like this nice little cove area. Let's see. What we got? Okay, we can make a foundation. Whoa, this is weird. I haven't done this before. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like this. Hold on. This camera angle is throwing me off hard. Constructed. That's kind of high off the ground. I don't know. Nah. I'll go with my original idea. We'll do it down here. Foundation. Oh. Oh, I have to hold the button to do this. Okay. Very cool. Alright. Now... How do I change what I'm trying to make? Game? Hello? Uh... Um, right. I'm stuck. What the? We checked out the deal already? I actually did watch one of their videos, and I see what you mean. They have good content. They really do embrace the edginess side of things. What the? Get me out of this menu. How? Oh. Oh, I just spent all of my oxygen trying to figure that out. <laughs> Apparently you hit the trigger button again. Good to know. Still not better for me watching, not playing. It's kind of relaxing. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're having a good time just watching me fumble around a little bit. But yeah, the do stuff is actually pretty cool. Uh, it does have some of that edgy humor, and I think when you make that kind of content, you know what you're getting into when you do it. You have to know. Because if you don't, you're, you're asking for trouble when somebody says something. Okay, let's get back to making stuff. Uh, time plus deals for that. Can make that. I oh, mean, I'm missing so many things. Oh dear. Okay, so I cannot make that because I don't have enough titanium. Huh. Also, what do you mean self scan required? Self scan complete. Vital signs no oh. detecting trace amounts Lovely. of bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Hmm. Okay, so let me see what I got in my inventory here. I got some room for that stuff. Let's go ahead and assign a quick slot to that. Having to hear any of his guitar skills? I did, actually. He's pretty good. I can see why you like him. Okay. I don't think we need this scanner as much right now. So we'll put the air pump there. Uh, 
Why does it sound so weird? Okay, do I... What? How do I... I'm confused. Oh! Well, that's nifty. Alright. Uh, quick slot this. Okay, this is, to say that this is weird design is an understatement. Huh. Let's just focus on having pipes just go straight down mostly for now. Also, I want any more pipes. Oh, crud. That's all the pipes ahead. Oh dear. Oh no. It's not exactly like a helicopter. It kind of did, yeah. This noise sounds exactly like someone sucking out a straw in the cup is pretty much empty. That is very accurate, actually. <laughs> That's why I didn't know what I was doing with it. I was like, what is going on with this? Oh boy. Hold on. I. I think I unintentionally created a a crazy straw here. Hold up. No, no, no. Let's do this right. It is not supposed to be this way. Ugh, trying to make this go straight down is weird. You need to have a little bit of a bend just to get it to go to where it's supposed to. Okay, back to the base for a second. Whee! Alright. So directly southeast. Okay. Yeah, I really hate where I put the life pod. Now that Cat mentioned it to me, uh, it really put me in an unfortunate place. It is so far away from everything. Okay. So I need titanium. I also need those. Uh, let's see. Plasteel, I need that. I think that's all I need from that one. That just has some useless stuff. Quartz, I need that to make some glass. Uh, I still have plenty of copper. Where my other containers go? Oh, there. Okay. Don't think I need any more tight. Well, I might as well stack up on titanium, actually. Uh, I only have one quartz. That could be a problem. Oh. Oh, no, that's not quartz. Okay. Glass, glass. Okay, fabricator. Resources. Um, yep, we need to make some glass. A uh, wiring kit. Um, let me see what I need here. Hold on. Let's go into recipes. Yeah, I think probably, like I said, this is more of a me thing, not a game thing. But... 
I feel like I need to take time and literally write down a list of the things I want to do before I do them. Don't need that. Uh, let's see. Large room requires two plastic or plastic ingots. I have one. Don't have enameled glass. I do not even know how to make that. Uh, exterior grow bed. Oh, that's interesting. Solar panel. I need one of those. All right. So okay, so I need two quartz for that. The captions are interesting. They are actually showing up on screen before you say it. Huh. Yeah, the captions are funny because sometimes it does some really weird things. <laughs> Definitely want to put a hatch up on there. Uh, that's already pinned, right? Oh. No, it does not. Well, we've got more titanium, but I actually like the... Hmm. Let's, let's put this one on there. Okay, so just to go over the bases here, I have a solar panel that I need to install. Uh, for base pieces, I have the foundation already down. Don't really need the compartments yet. Vertical base connector. Uh, no. Get on that. Okay, so I have a foundation, a multi-purpose room. I... Pumps oxygen from a powered habitat to an attached pipe network. Huh. So, okay. I already have a floating pump. I feel like that that'll work for now. That'll be a better option later. Uh, oh, here we go. Basic fa so a fabricator automatically rearranges raw resources into useful objects. Ooh. Nope. I need to put that on my recipe list. I need table coral for that. Okay, so I don't have the modification station yet, so I can't even use those. So I'll just take those off my pin list. Um, kind of weird, actually, that I don't have the option there. Okay, I need table coral sample. I think I still have some. Maybe. No? Nah. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. Alright. So, when the... Oh. I'm getting ahead of myself. One thing I need to make here. I need... Not wiring kit. And titanium kit. Where are you? Tools? No, not tools. Equipment. There we go. Okay. So, we need to make some pipes. I think making two sets of these should be safe. I should do enough. Have a meeting coming up in 10. Have a good stream. Oh, thanks, Casey. I appreciate you hanging out. And hope your day goes great. And uh, I will see you probably on Saturday or Sunday if you show up. If not, it's all good. I'll see you when I see you. Have a good day. Okay, I need table coral. 
and I need quartz. Table corals should be pretty easy to get. Actually, I don't have any in here. Nope, we're good there. Not trying to pick it up. That'd be weird. Okay, let's get back. Oh. I need a beacon. I need a beacon to put up on my base. I almost forgot. Good old resource gathering and survival games. Yeah, it's not something I'm particularly good at, if I'm honest. <laughs> Let me drop these diamonds in, in here. I don't, and gold. I don't need those right now. Uh, okay, hold up. Let me drop a couple things out here. I don't need you, Reginald. Get out of here. I also don't need you. Okay. So, first of all, give me my pipe. Okay, still got some room in here. Alright, so I do have copper wire. That's good. Um, quartz. Yes. I had I had another quartz still. Woohoo! Absolute hoarding games. I'll keep <laughs> I'll keep turn just in case. See, in a game where you have unlimited uh, options for being able to store stuff, that's exactly me. I am exactly that way, Mashiro. Uh, the problem is that you don't have unlimited storage in this. And Kat already warned me that you don't have unlimited materials either, which means you will come into a point where you get screwed if you don't have it. Oh, I need two acid mushrooms. Okay. All right, gotta go grab a mushroom real quick. Mushroom. Where you at, mushrooms? Thank you. Alright, so I've got a battery, which is good. I'm probably gonna need that later. Um, power cells. Uh, I don't need that yet. Actually, wait, 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 wait. If it requires two batteries, I have two full power batteries right here. Let me do a little bit of cheekiness here. I have a battery that is almost empty. Let me swap batteries so I can utilize the one that's almost empty. There we go. And we're going to find out here firsthand if that affects the uh, quality. Minecraft dirt hoarding is always a good thing. I mean, I don't see what'd be wrong with it. I've actually never played Minecraft, to be honest with you. But this game's kind of awakening something in me. Maybe I will check it out. I know for sure. There we go. I know for sure that uh, I've been watching a couple of people like Aurora play or Aura play my uh, Pixelmon. I think it's called, and that looks really cool. I'm really up for that. Okay. Okay, that's all stuff I don't need. Don't need that right now. Okay. Let's get back over to where the base is. So the base should be... I want to say northeast. Oh. 
Is there something interesting I saw down here? Oh, actually, I do need the table coral. Thank you. It was like 300 meters or something like that, so we got a ways. Uh, hmm. Trying to find my base in the dark may not have been a good idea. You never actually played Minecraft once? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, I ended up way closer to this than I meant to be. Base, Doko. Ah, jeez. Ah, I lost my base. No. Literally me. How could this happen to me? <laughs> <sighs> you can be relaxing until a creeper surprises you and kills you in one explosion. Uh, uh oh, I don't have my scanner either. Did I go too far? I think I might have gone too far. Huh. Wait, wait. Okay, I did go too far. So, let's scan over this way. I'm in a horror game, but suddenly hearing <laughs> that is. Oh boy. This is why I should have put an air tag on my base before I left. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I feel like it was close to this, but... Okay, no, it's not over here. Because those are angry boys. Hey. I left your territory. You leave me alone. Oh, man. Okay. Well, mm. yeah, this is a problem. Let's see. It was like in a cul-de-sac like area. I really need the sun to hurry and come out so I can see what I'm do what I'm doing here. Ah, uh, I don't know where it went. Jeez, this is the true horror right here in the ocean, not knowing where you left something. Quit my scanner real quick. Uh, scanner. Sign quick slot. Okay. Let's put that where the sea glide is for now. I wasn't really keen on it, but I guess I need to use my spotlight as well. Oh, wow. This, this helps significantly.
Okay, that's that. I think I'm too far, though. Oh, I'm way too far. Okay, here's one of these coral shell things. That's handy. Head on up. Okay. Oh, that's a weird graphical thing. Okay, don't need the flashlight anymore. Sun is coming out. Cool. Now let's see if I can find my base. Should be in the uh, what the uh, the Red Sea type area, I believe it was. Uh, da, 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 base, Doko. So rude. Okay. So from what I seem to recall at least nope. Full. Southeast was where the base was in coordination to me. I am southwest right now. So, maybe it's over here? Oh, hush. Literally nobody asked you. Hmm? Oh, that's just savage. Oh, what's this? 30 seconds. Sea glut. Ooh. Oh. So, maybe it was on the other side of this. Hold on. We will find this. This is now my new mission. Finding where my base went. We are on the edge of this. Okay. All right, where are we head to the. Okay. So that is west, okay. So that means I should be able to. I feel like this part of the reef looks a little more familiar. There also should be some pipes sticking up out of things now that I think about it. Uh, so the base does uh, does not have a waypoint. The part that I messed up on... Ooh, hello, office chair. The part that I messed up on is I did not have a beacon. And without a beacon to put in a place, you don't get to see where your thing is. You have to manually locate it again. And that is an awful mistake that I made. I don't remember this wreckage. But then again, in my explorations here, I'm finding a lot of stuff I did not have, so eh, it's not all bad. Oh, I should probably pay attention to my oxygen a little bit better. Whoops.
and then the Sea Glide. Eh. Finding a ton of materials, but. Huh. Okay, so there is lots of Metal Savage here. This is. Pretty close to the ship, actually. I don't think I was over here. Maybe it was on the other side of it. I don't know. Still searching. Kind of hoping in my lostness here I'll end up finding uh, my sea moth part. That'd be great. Hmm. I did not mean to end up on this side of the ship, but here we are, I guess. Because of my card, I surprisingly remember where things are sometimes unintentionally. I don't know how to do a Subnautica. I feel like I'm kind of familiarized, but I also feel like if I was doing this uh, on a second run or more, I would probably be better at it. Hmm. Oh. Wait, what'd that say? Oh. Nah, I don't need a first aid kit. Okay. Base is that way. I don't remember ever going... Uh, this is such a pain. Bot the builder got lost on the way to the job site, apparently. Oh. Yeah, another tricky part to figuring out here is uh, I move at a much different rate of speed without the sea glide. So what felt like it took like no time at all before is taking what feels like ages now. And Huh, I found a coffee vending machine. Dude, I wasn't even moving. How did you miss me? <laughs> I heard you, you angry little bomber fish thing. I literally didn't move and you and you missed. Okay, you didn't miss. This sulfur plant, but I can't. What? Thirty oh. seconds. I guess the sulfur plant just gives you sulfur. I don't remember how far. <laughs> Which side of the ship did you build your base on? Well, that's the thing. Is I was pretty sure it was on the same side as my life pod, but for some reason I'm having the hardest time trying to find it again. Okay. I feel like it, it should have been... I feel like this is right. This is in the same vicinity. Let's see. Hey, welcome in, cat. Am I still... Oh. <laughs> no, I actually forgot about that locker entirely. Now I am uh, looking for my base because I lost it. 
I have like completely lost my sense of direction somehow. And it's funny because I have a floating air pump and some and some hose or uh, pipes connected to it. And for the life of me, I can't seem to find them. And I've also got a foundation put down. And for the life of me, I can't find it either. This is what happens when I didn't air tag the dang thing. Now I'm stuck trying to find it again. Oh, wait. Wait, we're in the reef area. This should be close to where it was. Let's see here. See Aurora. Okay, I feel like it was relatively close to this ridge area. You got a bunch of floaters. Okay, the reef packs. Reef packs were in the in this area. That's a clue in. Okay. I remember I didn't go terribly deep with it. I guess on the bright side, though, I'm finding a bunch of extra stuff that I didn't have before. Like this! Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, I guess I already had that. Hmm. Let's see. Coming over here. Okay. So, we're at 274. I feel like I remember it was at about... I want to say it was 300 or so? We got some shelf-like areas here. Feels like this may be more in the speed. Uh, if I there are three red gr no, there are three red grass areas. No, I thought I was on to it. Uh, circular rock formation. Yeah, it was similar to these. Okay. 30 seconds. Uh, let me head back up for now. But I do feel, yeah, there was a rock formation that was very unique that I was sticking around. And then there was like a cul-de-sac looking place. Um... Oh boy, the sun's going down again. Okay, hold on, hold on. Those two were in a similar place. Is that? That's a fish. Where could it be? Okay. Basic. Ow! What's up with that? Rude? Okay, so it was not in the purple depth there. 
oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Let's see. Let's pop up for a second here. I feel with an arch. Okay. I feel like I'm getting closer to it. I do. Um Okay, that's I feel like that's too deep. Let me see. Where are we at here? Okay, those two line up 430 Okay, here's some of the rocks. Okay. Uh, the crazy thing is I'm actually looking more for the air pump. Let's see here. I did want to use the rest of the battery on this, but I think I'm going to have to. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we need the scanner as much right now. Okay. I remember being close to you snapping, guys. Close, though. Not exactly with you. Alright, let's head up to the surface. That area's definitely too deep. Yeah. I feel, it's like I feel like I've got the right range to my habitat, but I don't have the right direction. So, it was southeast to get back to the pod. Okay, no. No, wasn't any of this. Okay. So to get back to the base from where I'm at right now is directly west, okay? Okay. So let's see if I understand this right. So my idea is it should have been southeast to the pod from where I was. I feel like, uh, let's see here. Okay. Wait, we are... Okay, so let's keep going this way. Should I find the edge of that red grass area and fall on the edge? Oh. Uh-oh. That's some bad timing. Hmm. Oh wait, it says exchange power source. I don't have one. Crap. Hmm. That makes things a little more annoying. Um. Let's equip that to there. Okay, so range point, we are actually pretty far away from it right now. Okay, 
Alright, we weren't this far deep though. We are getting closer to the correct direction now. Okay. We got a grass forest here, or a creep forest. Okay. Possibly on the other side of this is where it is. Okay, here's a red grass area. All right, all right. Looking promising. Here's some more reef backs. Range is about here. Okay, let's head up. I think we are almost back on point for it. Okay. So, range should have been about 360 or so. Let's come on down. What we got? What we got? Okay, we have a reef back there. It is southeast. Uh, there's okay. There's pod 17. We are now in the right forest This all feels very familiar to what I'm looking for Okay, we were not in that deep spot though Range is a little far to the surface because I might be able to find my air pump at this point. I love how it does that. It's so fun. Ha! I found it! I found it! Where's my epic sax music? Bump! Bump! Da da bump! Bum ba da da bow. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad I found it again, but geez. Okay. Holy cow. Also, trying to do this is so weird. Get my pipes back, because I suck at doing this. Okay, give me that. Uh, man. Straight down. Straight down. Not exactly straight down, but close enough. Yep, I lost it. say that this control is not intuitive is being generous but I think I mostly got it
All right, let's build something. <laughs> it's been 84 years. Also, you don't need air to run air to your base. It generates air. Okay, well, it doesn't have power yet. But good to know. What? How dare you? Who are you? How dare you ruin my victory moment? Okay, so I don't know a thing about how to build bases, so I'm just totally guessing at how this works. Wait. Ah. I just, I want the camera to like, zoom out a little, please. That is so off center, and I'm upset by this. No. <laughs> Try to figure out what the point of a foundation is if I can't build on it. Like, for real, what is the point of a, a foundation if you can't put something on top of it? 30 seconds. Oh. Man. That glider or something else. It's a Super Mario jump. Does that even connect to anything? What is the point? Increases the whole integrity of the base. But how does it increase the integrity if it doesn't sit on it? Is it just like some weird statistical anomaly? That's a compartment. That's not what I want. Am I just silly forgetting a bunch of stuff here? I feel like I wasted so much material making that foundation for no good reason. Whatever. Good enough, I guess. 30 seconds. Minus 0.13 to base hull strength. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Yeah. Thank you for giving me that warning tutorial while I'm trying to use my tool to get out of there and not die. Okay. Well, let's see here. Um so it it only works on certain okay. Ugh. This is the the weirdest base. <laughs> I okay. I think I'm kind of getting an idea of how this works. Uh 
Oh, before I forget, so help me. Where is it? Where is my beacon? Do I just set it under here? Do I put it on the base? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Good enough. Okay. Yeah, where is my beacon? I need an air tag for my air tag. Alright, chat, I'll leave this one to you. Give me give me a couple of suggestion names you got for the the base here. Thank you, subtitles. I definitely said chat, not Chad. Although y'all are Chads for being here. I appreciate you. I mean, Fragnation? <laughs> what in Fragnation? <laughs> you know, this is going to be such a cluster mess up of a base. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> I was going to say, if it was a base worth anything, I would be, I would have said something like uh, Frag Lab 2021, but it's not it's not deserving of that name. I think we'll go with Fried Nation then. Uh. What? My. What the heck? Game, please. I'm writing this in all white text, I guess. I can't see it. <laughs> I I assume that's right. Thirty seconds. Okay, let's go back up, and we need to get titanium. So I've got a multi-purpose room. I need titanium. I need titanium. Okay, I, sorry, I was lost trying to figure out something there just now. Oh, by the way, cat. 2021 was just a mess of ear. Yeah. Yeah, that's valid. 
By the way, Cat, just to let you know too, I did uh, go back to Otto's thing and I did find another uh, piece of the sea moth. Still don't have it yet though. Titanium. I have found so many sea glide fragments. See in here, yeah. More titanium. Uh, that's cute, but no, I don't need that. Salvage. Woo. Nice. Um, wow. Okay. Let's get on back to the base then. Away. So I'm going to get some more air pipes, make those, and then I think I have enough raw materials to make some of the stuff that I want to make. I do need, it looks like, table coral sample. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I thought that might have been useful, but it was not. Hmm. Aren't you a weird little guy? Oh, quartz. Always need that. Shush. Bad fish. What even are you? That's a very strange graphical glitch there. Okay. That doesn't have anything. That's titanium, okay. Ooh, a counter. I love how I'm suddenly getting just all these office furniture options. It's pretty neat. So let's see what we got in here. First of all, we got a new message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from the little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be red. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sun me out. Huh. Yay, there's somebody coming to rescue us. Woo! Okay, so I actually need to... Yeah, I knew. Okay. That's nothing new. All oh, right. Right, right. B. Not B. Uh. A. 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 Y. No. X. A. Hey, there we go. Wait. I have a battery. Why can't I use? 
Uh, I have a power cell. That is not the same thing. Did I literally make the wrong kind of battery? I think I did. See you, everyone. Until next one. Okay. Thank you for swinging by, Lazaro. I appreciate you hanging out. And have a good sleep, all right? Couple of wiring kits. Uh... I thought something needed the wiring kit, but I'm not seeing it. Well, I guess the better question is, does anything else use silver? Because if not, I'm also just make another wiring kit. Pipes. Yes. Need those. Got a beacon. Okay. So I need a not a power cell. Still make more of that. Oh, it's my my inventory is full. Shoot. All right, drop that in there so I can pick up my pipes. Drop that there so that I can do this. Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. I have so much titanium now. So let me see. Recipes that I have pinned. I need gold, which I have. Gold, where you at? Bingo. Uh, table coral samples. I feel like I've got those somewhere or other. I have so much titanium. I have one out of two uh, quartz. Okay. I don't have any more quartz in here. Let me see, I got some down here. Not trying to pick it up. There. Okay, no quartz in that one. Battery. Yes, I do need that. Okay, sounds good. X, replace. There we go. Trying to open my storage back up. Alright, drop that back in there. Don't need that no more. Okay, fabricator. Still need table coral. Cool. Um, bioreactor needs lubricant. I have those inside the thing. That's fine. That's bleach. That's not lubricant. Cave sulfur. Don't need that right now.
copper, titanium, bleach, no. Okay. Materials, now I don't need titanium ingots. I don't need copper wire. Pipe, floating air pump, no, don't need those. Oh, right. Lubricant. Lubricant, lubricant. Need some of that. Okay. So, I still need to get a quartz. I need a... Oh, wait. I don't need the wiring kit anymore. Hold on. Let me take that off. Trunks, unpin. Okay, that gives me that recipe back. Excellent. Alright, let's see what we got. I don't have the stuff for those yet. I have not found the thing I need for the sea moth yet. I uh, cannot make those until I have a modification station. Uh, vertical connectors. That's kind of neat. Uh, so I have okay. I have a multi-purpose room. I need something that can reinforce my base. So I have a foundation, which helps. The hatch to provide access point to the habitat. Okay. I got that on my list. Pumps oxygen from a powered habitat. Not yet. Uh, artificial plant bed suitable for use on water, on land or water. Okay. Uh, large freestanding storage. That's useful. This a synthesizes hydrating caffeine free coffee. Oh. Permanently deconstruct unwanted items and safely release their constituent atoms into the atmosphere. Huh. So I, I need to figure out, I have a foundation which reinforces the that, but how do I reinforce the rest of it? Reinforcement increases hole integrity, okay. I uh, don't have any for that day. Okay, so I've made some stuff. Let's head over. Let's head back to Frag Nation. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Well, let's get going here. Alright, well finally, after hours now of doing this, and thank you all for hanging, we can now actually be Bot the Builder and start making stuff. <laughs> we lost some stuff, we lost the base, and then we lost other stuff, but we got here, dang it. We actually got to where we can build this thing proper. So, 
let us wait I did make pipes right I think I made pipes I hope I made pipes please tell me I made pipes okay quick assign to here All right, let's continue connecting some pipes. Who? Mm. Why are you gotta be like this, man? Does this connect? Next question is, how does this connect to the building? Hmm. That... I don't think that does what I think it does. 30 seconds. Huh. I may have wasted my time doing this. Finally home. Now I can actually watch. Welcome home, cat. Glad you get to come and hang out. So I went through all that effort to make these air pipes and everything, but I didn't stop to consider how do I set them up. Also, why do I have an extra pipe here? Uh Actually here. Let's do let's do this for the moment. Hey, there we go. All that stuff, none of that stuff really matters right now. I need hatch. Yes, how do a Power only. Oxygen production offline. We're doing a thing. Doesn't. As mentioned before, you don't need to run air to a base. Huh. Well, let's see what we got in here. I don't have the fabricated materials. Uh, bioreactor. Ah, uh, that's big. That is so big. Ah. Uh. My eyes. Okay, so I did this thing. Now what do I do with this thing? Uh, let's go up and get some air. Uh, so I have a bioreactor. Now how do I use it? I guess I could be cheeky about this, actually. Let's see. We have a hatch that goes there. So...
feed it. Feed me. <laughs> Oh, wait. I have a vertical connector thingy, but I don't know how to vertically connect the things. Hmm. Don't have enough for that. Yeah, I guess for now I might as well put the hatch back on. I don't really have a better Oops. Thirty seconds. Okay. Let's go up. Set up. It feels like such a waste though, that I, I put all that together for that air pump, only to find out that it doesn't even work the way I wanted it to. It's not connecting. Huh. I had an extra pipe hanging around. Figure for yeah, 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 yeah. No, I figured that out. What keeps running into me? Dang it. Okay. Oh, let's get this going correctly. Let's angle it towards the entryway. Eh, good enough. Okay, so I have a hatch. I want to make I actually like the idea of the L-shaped components. I think they're pretty neat. I just wish I could zoom the camera out though, because it's so close. That's not working the way it's supposed to. Well, let's see. Can I build one here? No. Oh, oh. There's a thing. So I now have two rooms. Awesome. And use my air pipe. I actually kind of like the idea of just sitting here and just inhaling like this. It's kind of funny. Okay, so I have my survival knife connected down there. Uh, I think that's probably all I need for there for now. Oh, let me see. Plasteel ingots. What do I need? Okay. I don't need the... Oh. Let me correct that real fast. I do not need the bioreactor anymore. I already have one. Unpinned. Need table coral. Which should be in this area, I believe. No? Not there. Hmm. 
Let's see what we got here. Copper. Ooh, more gold. Nice. The quartz. Yes, I need that. Silver. Still need my table coral, though. Where are you at? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Mm. Lead. Yeah, it's so weird. I thought there was table coral around here, but maybe not. Is this? No, no, it is not. And that requires something I don't have. All right, let's make our way back over to the base. Get some air. Side of some of the columns and cliff faces. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I, I guess I just have not get lucky yet with it. Actually, I'm thinking, I think they're uh, at a bit of a higher elevation. Let me see here. It's weird because I remember running into a bunch of it before. Is that what I needed? Mm, coral tube sample. No, that is not what I needed. Let's see if I can find them up here. Usually near the top. Okay. There's Nice. Woohoo! Thanks for the tip there, cat. Uh, I finally got one. Now we head on back down here. And I gotta find. I gotta start grabbing stuff to uh, power the bioreactor once the base is ready. Ooh. I like this music change that's going on. That's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. We are good there. Now. I have the materials for a hatch. I have the materials for a locker. More importantly, Warning. emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay, bioreactors here. That's fine. Let's go in this room here. And fabricator. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's put the fabricator in the bioreactor room. I like that more. Let's put it right there. Bioreactor need bio. Indeed. <laughs> uh, solar panel. I still require... Looks like another piece of uh, coral. Or not coral. Quartz. Hmm? Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. This is how this deal works. Neat. Well, for now, all I have is one thing. Power restored. 
all primary systems online. Nice. Okay. The world is my oyster. Li kinda literally. If you have the bioreactor, you don't need a solar panel. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. Although, on the other hand, having the solar panel gives me a second source of power in case the bio runs out. Okay, this thing is huge. And, uh, I guess it doesn't go in here. Okay. Let's see. Let's put a window. Here we go. Yeah, you can see outside now. Oh. Wow. The bioreactor went through that real fast. I really didn't go through it. It was just a matter of it doesn't have anything running it. Okay, well, anyways. The world's my oyster, so let's get out there and do some stuff. And also, I don't need this anymore. So, yep. Yep. Eh. Eh. Controls. Weird. Give it to me. Okay, we got it. Nope. Not quite. Alright, let's get back down in here real fast. I got a plan. I have the materials, so I'm going to make a locker. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's see. Locker. Oh, it's not wall mounted, it's freestanding. Eh. I don't know how I feel with that. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Whoopsies. Gotta get my Minecraft chest going on here. So we're going to put all those pipes in there for future use. Free up a bunch of our inventory space. Um, oh man, this locker holds so much. Wow. Actually, hold on. Supposedly the trash can... It says, at least, currently deconstruct unwanted items. I don't know if that actually does that. Give me one sec. I want to verify before I waste materials here. I want to pull this up. Okay. Trash can subnautica. Let's see. 
can be used to dispose of unwanted items such as rotten food and excess materials. It's treated like a form of storage, but any items placed in it are irretrievably deleted from the game world after a short time. Oh no. Yeah, no, that is absolutely not what I want. Yikes. Okay, so I was thinking that I had a way to dispose of the pipes I've made if I needed to, but it seems that that is not an actual option. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go on out and let's get some stuff here. Exterior grow bed. Can I put one of these under here? That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Oh, am I... Oh, I'm out of titanium. Darn. Okay, that's fine. Let's see here. Oh, well, how about that? Creature egg. Thank you. Right off the bat, we already got some old material. I wonder if I could put the floaters in there. That'd be kind of funny. There's my quartz I needed. Uh, do I need the acid mushrooms right now at least? Come here, fishy. You're growing in the thing. More fish. I don't have to eat anything because I'm not in survival mode, so that works. Up we go! Whee! Fish, 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 fishy! Won't let me catch any of them. Dang. Copper ore. Okay, great. I haven't tried, but probably. I'm actually kind of scared after what you told me last time, Cat, that um, I'm going to put one in there and then my base is just going to disappear into a black void. <laughs> Let's see, what we got here? That's salt. I don't think salt's really need for anything. Coral shell plate. Yep, I will take some of this. Thank you. Easy materials. Oh, not hitting it. There we go. Nope, can't get that yet. Thirty seconds. We'll save and we'll try that experiment in a minute. No floaters right now. There we go. There's an egg and fish, fish.
There we go. Wait. What? Oh, it's filling. Okay. About to say. Let's see. I oh. I used too much titanium. I don't have front I don't have enough for the solar panel now. Whoops. Although I could go back to the base and get some real quick. Yeah, we'll do that. Get titanium back and repurpose it. Oh, that wasn't titanium I got back. Well, dang it. Ooh. Hello. Let me get my scanner back on. Wait, I do have my scanner. I just hit the wrong one. There we go. <clears throat> and that was... More titanium. Perfect. Right outside of the base. How about that? Passing 100 meters. But I'm Oxygen curious now. Let's do a deep dive. Hoo-hoo. Deep dive is an understatement. Jealous room, jealous room. Up with you. Zoom. Oh, there is no control on that thing, it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got some titanium. Let's make some stuff. Oh, also, I can put more stuff in the bioreactor. Jelly shrooms. There we go. That should give it plenty to work with. And now we can make the solar panel. So now the question is with the solar panel, can I just. Do I just put it on top of the thing or do I have to like route it somehow? I wonder. I guess so. Neat. Alright, so I've got the bioreactor, I've got the solar panel. I don't have anything to put in the grow bread yet. I gotta work on that. In for now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's make this a little bit more habitable. There we go. Hey. 
It says the chair swivels. It's not swiveling. Scam. When it says, uh, when a chair says it can turn 360 degrees, it better turn 360 degrees. Get my titanium back. That was a waste. Alright, I don't need another fabricator. Um, I got jelly shrooms. Yep, and they went right into the blender. Uh, let's see. Large room partitions. Nah. I feel like I, at this point, I just need to find some more titanium, it looks like, and go with that. Yeah. Alright, so I do have a battery... Uh, should be able to assign that. Exchange power source. So I don't ha okay. I do not have a battery for that. Electronics, battery, power cell. See, I have a power cell somewhere. And I tried to use it earlier and it didn't work. I have to go find another one, I guess. Throw another jelly shroom in there. For good measure. Okay. Let's go on back over to our main base real quick. Get a couple of things while we're on the way. Nope. All right. Don't need the creep vines at, at the moment. Thank you. We'll take that for later use. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Okay. What we got down here? No, more mobile vehicle bay. Yeah. More mobile vehicle bay fragments. So many of them. Let's get on back to the base real quick, or to the home that is home, I guess. Okay, and it's plenty of more titanium. Also, I think it might be time to relocate some of my uh, storage lockers, too. Oxygen. Oh, okay. No new messages. Build some more titanium. There's a big wreck near your base. Curious if you explored it. Uh, if you're talking about the life pod, yes. I have I have explored it, but I could always go back and look again though, and make sure that I didn't miss anything. Okay, so power cells. 
Okay, don't need any of that stuff. Um, you can see it from the life pod, or very near it. Uh, I could, I could check it out and see what, see what's up. Oh yeah, I've got this big old creature. I gotta do something with. Um, da, 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 where is my power cell? I have one, somewhere. No, no, I did not. Oh no. This is a good moment to save my game because that was scary. <laughs> Trying to open my locker and the game froze. Okay, so not that locker. Uh, that's a battery. I guess I could try and use that. There we go. Wait, so it doesn't require a power cell. It requires a regular battery. I keep getting the two confused. So I can make another room. Whew. <laughs> can I unpin this? Well, yeah, I'll unpin the solar panel. I think one's probably good enough for that, realistically. Okay, bulkhead is a good one to have because I want to improve the power of everything and security of it. So let's do something here. Last broadcast. Okay. That's that. Okay. Let's head back to the base for now. Do -do -do. Alright, so I think I might have gotten my base more or less set up where it's at right now. And now it's a matter of finding another Seamoth fragment so that I can make a Seamoth and then actually get into the deeper waters. Because currently I'm kind of locked on that. That's pretty good pacing on this. It's just enough distance. Nice. Let's see. Now you got room for this. Nope, not yet. Okay. Well, back of. Stick it in here. So I do want to go ahead and make the structural integrity here, improve that. Maybe? Is that not how that works? Hello? Uh, I guess it has to be outside of it. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Oh. Nice. Getting the ball kit at the entryway is a perfect idea. Especially considering this is a uh, a glass entryway. 
That's cool. I like that. Right. So I've got that in place. I want to get. Wait, hold on. What was I looking for here? Well, aquarium's cute, but I don't really have a use for it. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, that was a mistake. Uh, yeah, let's put it in here, actually. Indoor plant bed. Actually, I think I like it more like this. Here we go. And actually, that should be good for now. Not just the one. Uh, how's my inventory looking? I've got a bunch of lead and whatnot still here. Two materials that I can make. Uh, ooh, enamel glass. Heck yeah. We're getting some advanced materials now. Or more advanced materials. Alright, don't need anything for that. I need copper, okay, I need coral samples and two, and one copper wire. I don't need any of this stuff, really. No. I have one piece of diamond, but I can't make that yet. Alright. Let's see what that did for me. Okay, so the medical cat medical kit fabricator needed the computer chip. Uh go ahead and make a radio. Can't hurt. Can only help really. Put that on this wall. Oh. Just in time for a new message. Approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's. Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers oh. if the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. There is a literal timer now. Well. Bleep. <laughs> what does that do for me? I don't know, actually. Where is these coordinates? Actually, it's a, that's. Let's start with that question. There, isn't. Huh. Well, that's kind of weird that there's no coordinates for me to go to. You know, in some ways, it kind of reminds me of Soma, looking at, watching this. All right, sit Passing down here. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Do -do -do -do. Don't need that. Ooh, Passing pretty. Ooh, giant snake worm thingies. Scan. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do, but I'm taking you. Oh? What we got here? We have like some sort of table. There's nothing on it. I have been scammed! Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't looking good. 
Hoping for the best. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. I'm stuck. I'm going down. <laughs> Aww. I missed the thing. Aww. Well, that's two deaths. Also, I... That was weird. I missed a thing. Oh. Well, I was a little worried about dying just there, so... Here's what it is. Let's see. Do I have something I can plant? Mm. Nope. It is an outdoor planter, apparently. My base is closer? I was just trying to get out from underneath the bottom, though. There we go. I've got a planter with a thing planted. Yeah. Race is closer than oh than the surface. Well, yeah, but the problem with the uh, bladder is I don't have control over it. Once it starts, it starts. So all I could hope for was to just get to the surface. It's just the one-way ticket. There's no controlling it once it goes off. Don't need any of this stuff now. Okay. Back down to the base, drop this stuff in here. pipes and the floatable pump and a dead battery because I don't need that right now I wish I knew how to make the fabrication station or modification station that's a big thing that I, I was really I really need to be able to use but I don't have one Okay. All right, let's close the door. All right, let's try that deep dive again. Passing one hundred. Straight down this time. No lollygagging. Passing two hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, so there's a thing there, but it doesn't do anything. What? Oh, that doesn't sound very friendly. Oh! Nice! Also, oh, location uploaded to PDA. that was the thing that Cat was talking about before. Now will I make it? Inside. Woo. 
So I got a new uh, PDA thing. But what, where does it go? Uh, propose the Gossi Habitat. 250 meters. Um... Okay. Where is the... Okay. Always look for the blue glow. Yeah, funny things happen when you're panicking because your air is running out. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. There. Oh, the sunbeam is way over here. Well, let's see. Oh, I'm out of it. I'm out of power. Crap. Yeah, let me alone. Also, my oxygen's going down quick. Something going on here? Okay, I'm just infected still. I already knew that. That is nothing new. Log. Oh, right. I forgot. I always forget about the logs. Let's see. Is it this one? No, it wasn't that one. I've already watched, already looked at that one. No. Let's see, specimen with symptoms of infection. This organism is displaying signs of a bacterial infection. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. The bacterium itself is unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. Warning, may be contagious. Avoid. Do not under any circumstances consume the flesh. Well, I don't need to eat, but apparently I still got it. Let's see. Yeah, okay, we already know what a time capsule is. Um, oh, okay. It was under the Degasi thing. That's right. There we go. Environment log. User Paul Torgel re represented cro er, excuse me, requested cross-referencing of local environment scans with ideal habitat construction conditions, displaying results. Large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances. Conditions support a unique microcosm of predatory life forms. Minor structural instability in cave walls. Extensive resource deposits. Average environment safety rating C. Optimal, habit, optimal habitat site safety rating B. Site 7 has been selected as the optimal habita habitat construction site for the following reasons. Close proximity to one of the cave entrances in case of emergency. Medium distance from predatory organisms. Stable foundations on which to build. Ready access to materials. A signal tracking the site has been created. Is it really worth it to try and go all the way down though? Like, that feels like not the greatest idea. Hmm. 
Oh, there's another mobile mobile vehicle bay fragment. Different one. Bone shark. Come here, buddy. I'll scan you. Thank you. You have a really cool sound, too. Also, how weird is it that I, despite getting severely lost so many times, I somehow didn't end up over here? Head on back up to the surface again. There we go. Alright, back down we go. Oh? Oh, it's just more metal salvage. Got excited for a second. Thought it might have been something cool. Oh, I already scanned you. Oh, have a fish. Yeah, I got you already. Man, so much metal salvage. Did I scan you? Yeah. It's kind of disturbing how much metal salvage I'm finding. Super deep. Detecting massive energy signatures in the region. Cannot I get oh. Well, let me come back up to the surface for a sec. Oh, hey, there's more land. Oh wait. No yeah, there's more land. This is actually different. Holy crap. Okay, so I don't need that. Where are we at? Where are we at? I can't make the multi purpose room here. I wonder, can I just make something like a fabricator just in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> It'd be kinda of funny if it could. Hmm. Well, I got a little bit of time here. No, I've already scanned you. Aliens, as they say. Can't scan. Can't scan. Oh. Oh. This looks uh very promising. Also, I'm really surprised that I haven't come this way before. Feels like I've circled the planet dozens of times. But guess not. Drop. 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 Yes. I... Why am I just holding that? Okay. <laughs> Everything else is just like, put it in the thing. Except that one. Is 
This place is so cool. Oh, again, I forgot the jump button because I don't use it. How's you guys? Now, I do admit, I wish I had a second diamond to be able to make the thing because I do not have a second diamond. I found one. Get out of here. No. Evil. Evil little punks. Ooh. Ew. Reactive lighting. Also, it's really dark in here. Huh. Didn't expect this. No. I heard you. I had some more lithium. You little... Mm. You guys are so annoying. I'm a little disturbed to find so much lithium in this place. Oh. I'm starting to feel like I'm collecting doom keys. Let's see. I guess I need my flashlight here. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, nothing to miss there. Oh, right. I got stuck. Salt? No. If I can find a diamond, that'd be really awesome. No. Oh. Well, I got him first. Oh, apparently I just can't hit them. That's that's pretty lame. Oof. So I came all the way up here, but there's nothing else to do. Huh? Really? Seems kind of weird to just have a dead end room. Here's another pathway. More lithium. Uh, I actually can't think of it. Have I? Oops. Oh, that's not it. Oh! Oh! Give me that! Give it! Get! Get! Diamond! Stuck. Eh. Alright. Well, I found diamonds and I found a whole bunch of other cool stuff. <gasps> you know, you guys don't really hurt, you're just annoying. Okay. Well, I've got enough to make two of those purple key thingies now. Now, can I get out of here and get back? Uh oh. Oh no. Ow. That was pain.
Let's see if we can hurry up and make these purple things and get back and see what's going on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess I'll stop with the flashlight. I don't really need it. There's a recipe for them. Hold on. Okay, cool. It does pause while I'm in here. Tools, no. Equipment. Oh. I feel silly. Thanks for catching that cat. I thought that I I thought that they needed the purple tablets to make those, not the other way around. Okay. Well, back to we go. Okay. Just keep swimming. Huh, you're an interesting one. All right, back to the island. So, oh, huh. hey, it turns out you can actually can hit the crabs. I was just doing a bad job of it before. Oh. Hmm. I want to scan it first. Don't be hasty. Scan data, force field control terminal. Crab battle. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> this device matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. Technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Well. Easy enough. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No matches found in database. Performing structural analysis. Hmm. Very interesting place. This is some really cool architecture. Kind of weirdly empty, though. I can't scan that. That looks ominous, so let's not click on that yet. Ancient technologies. Ooh. Thank you. That was what I needed for that recipe. I don't have any way to make it, but that's what I needed for it. Hmm. A 
Not much for interior decorating, indeed. All right. Alien data ter data bleh, data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which de designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this type of telep telepathy would imply that designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment. Further uh, research required. Okay. So I got a thing and a thing and I can't do a thing. <gasps> Oops. Fall damage. That's a thing in this game. There we go. All better. Hmm. Forgot to scan this last time around. Here we go. Ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially. Cubic appearance suggests that it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Wow. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely used as batteries, but, requires but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Assessment. Valuable energy source. Indeed. Yoink. Uh, do I have any more space in my inventory? I don't. Hmm. Huh. What do I want to get rid of? I get rid of you. Oh. I guess I can't get rid of you. Well, shoot. Enforcement Platform Schematic This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction Material The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amal amal uh, amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate, self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The faithful... Uh, f the, sorry. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where this schematic was found in the control room, which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft, or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility, however the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's one way to do an elevator. Ah. Take that fall damage. So I see all these force field control things, but I can't do anything with them. Hmm. 
Suspicious. Hmm? Oh, I don't have it out. That's why. Alien rifle. Hello. Alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the hum use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. <laughs> I see you, cat. We all float down here. <laughs> I am never getting lost in this place. Ooh. I don't have any inventory space. No. Ah. Ah. I can't take any more cubes. Alien arch. Interesting. The structure's intended purpose is unclear. There is on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network, assessment, further research required. P.S. We have no idea. Might as well just said that. This thing could have done literally nothing, or literally everything. Who knows? They don't. Okay. Oh, that was a screenshot. I thought there was a sprint button, but I can't seem to remember what it is. Well, let's go jump in the water. Just for funsies. Huh? Whee! Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, just leads out underneath. Okay. Oh. I think I hear a music change here, but it's hard to tell. Hmm. Fascinating. Man, this the size of this is so much larger than it appeared. There we go. Alright, so I came in that way. Nah. Nah. What? I can't get out? Okay. No, oh, I can't get out there. That was weird. Go upstairs. Two paths to go to the same place. Hat. Purple control panel. Oh. Is there really no way that I can drop stuff? That is incredibly frustrating. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Use the pool to drop stuff in? Yep, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to drop stuff here. 
Okay. So you can't game the inventory limit. Gotta drop stuff outside. I guess that that's kinda lame still though. Thank you. And this leads me to the question of if I want to try and go back and get that green cube or not. Alien device. Doomsday device. Oh, that sounds lovely. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Man, thank goodness it's not a halo. That'd be awful. The tablet. I admit this place is way bigger than it looked like on the outside. Empty space, wasting my time. Okay, more wasted space, wasting my time. And getting stuck on scenery for some reason. Energy core. Ooh. Let's see what that one says. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton, uh, yeah, megaton nuclear detonation which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Well, we know it shot us down. Push the button. Ow. Well, that was rude. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Oh. Huh. Well, I don't have any idea how to do quarantine, so... Well... Oh, so we got more stuff in the background here. Nah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, alien facility locations. Intercepted background data regards for the alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. 800 meters? Ah, oh, jeez. Cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform. Function, live specimen study, objective, synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Kara. Thermal powers facility, 1,200 meters. Location, inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Function, generate energy for all local facilities. Sanctuary A and B. And offsite laboratory and primary containment facility all corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to protect the spread to prevent the spread of infection off world. Huh. Well, I'm looking at my watch and I've got less than ten minutes before my ride is supposed to get here. I think I might as well just go back to my uh, little escape pod and learn how to farm the wildlife. 
Doesn't seem like I have any other alternative. For that matter, I don't even have a way to get back to my facility that doesn't take 10 minutes. Whee! Yeah. Hmm. Huh? That leads me to an interesting idea. I don't know if I could kill myself that way and end up back in the pod. Hmm. I kind of wonder, actually. Let's do it. Nah. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. It's probably a game over, regardless. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Alright. Well, I don't have any of the technology that I need to do any of this stuff here, so that's, uh, that sucks. Twelve hundred meters, that's crazy. I can't even go down to eight hundred. Because I never was able to find the Seamoth stuff. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen yep. efficiency greatly decreased. Mm. Go ahead and use this. Pop on up. a neat creature. What are you, buddy? You look evil as can be. Warper. You look super cool, though. Neat. I don't like how you're hanging on to me, though. Seems a little bit uncomfortable. Whoop. <laughs> so just looking at the power cables here, or the lines, kind of makes me wonder if this isn't an artificial island built just for this purpose. It's totally within the possibility. You fish I haven't gotten before? No, I haven't gotten any before. Ooh. Oh, I'm actually close enough. I can, I can scan the birds. I've been trying to do this since the other island. Well, and then it flew away. do I do at this point, I wonder? Can I just, yep, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got it. Skyrim. The Skyray has a bird-like head and feathered wings which enable it to fly. Skyrays are commonly found circling floating structures and rarely venture far out to sea. They will perch on dry land but are prone to flee on approach. Wings. Although its wings give it some resemblance in silhouette to the waterborne rays of 4546b, analysis shows no greater genetic overlap with those species than the planetary average. In fact, the Skyray appears to have split off the evolutionary tree much earlier than most. 
Diet. Largely seed-based diet. Sky rays have not been observed diving for food, which implies they rely on land-based plants for their survival. Assessment. Presence may indicate dr nearby dry land. Well, I mean, yeah. Alright, well, let's get a good viewpoint so we can watch the fireworks here. There we go. Okay. Well, this is one of those watch the world burn moments. Because there ain't nothing else to it. Nothing bad is going to happen. Remember what Douglas Adams said. Don't panic. Oh, I'm not panicking. I'm just sitting here with the full acknowledgement that uh, it's a waste of my time to play any farther. Because at this point, I have 4 minutes and 30 seconds to find Seamoth technology, wherever that is, to get the technologies I need to be able to get to 800 meters to then go from 800 meters to 1200 meters, to then come back to this facility that I'm currently at right now, to then disable the things after I figured out somehow to quarantine myself to get rid of the alien infection. And considering the sunbeam is my only ride out of this place, I think it's pretty much over. So, I guess I can give a fun review of the game though while I'm waiting. Uh, my only regret is I couldn't even make my coffee vending machine beforehand so I could just sip some caffeine-free coffee. Uh, well, I gotta say, things escalated ridiculously quickly. I was actually having a lot of fun doing the base building in this episode. And then we just kind of hit the uh, wall with the speed of a, I don't know, Leviathan hitting dry land, I guess. It has been fun, though. Like, I do appreciate uh, Kat recommending this to me. I did have a lot of fun with it. I think it's a shame that I... I, I might be presumptuous here, but it's a shame that the game seems to have a hard stop limit on it where you can't do anymore. That kind of sucks, honestly. I'd have to dock the game points for that part of it. But, then again, it does have a creative mode, too. So, that is also an alternative. If I just want to mess around with the base building and all that good stuff. second I have an idea give me one sec here to find this don't want to get any copyright claims but let me see if I can't pull up pretzel rocks and have some nice fitting mu music for the last two minutes of our lives Let's see here. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. All right, music coming through good. Well, if the mu even if the music doesn't come through, I guess I'll just enjoy it. <laughs> Can you hear it? Okay. One sec here. Okay, should be coming through now. Oh, that was weird. Uh, no, that's not working correctly. Oh, that's really loud. Oh. No, 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 no. Too loud, too loud. That's fine. I was trying to get it set up, but I haven't figured out exactly how to. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and finish it out then. So, the last two minutes, the two minute wind down here, I'd say that uh, Subnautica has been a, a lot of fun to play through. Uh, it's definitely a game that I think I would want to do multiplayer if I could with it. It's been a lot of... Uh, I think the creative elements, it's, it's quirky. It's kind of offbeat. The tutorials aren't very good for the most part, uh, but once you get into the design of it and the understanding of how most of it works, it's pretty fun. I think personally that the automatic time limit that it forces on you, it's like a weird cross between you wanted to have a cool epic story and you wanted Minecraft, but you don't want the unlimitedness of Minecraft and you don't want the strict structure of a single player game normally so in that regard it, it kind of does both but kind of doesn't do both well I guess you could say I will say though you know had tip to the game it, this is definitely a thing that it has got me interested in playing something like Minecraft or some sort of other game that has resource gathering and crafting it's been pretty fun with that in that regard and graphically I gotta admit I'm not usually a person that's all about graphics but truth be told the reason I've never played really Minecraft is because the graphics just weren't weren't my thing I just didn't like it but maybe it's about the gameplay maybe it's less about the the graphics and more about the gameplay and I guess that's the lesson to learn from this survivor we see you man I don't know how you held out down there well, we I don't see you. And we're descending towards the landing site. How do you see me? Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh. Oh, they're coming in fast on this. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in ten. Yep. Nine. Eight. It's the end of the world as you know it. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Well, that sucks. Well, 
I guess in the words, in the eternal words of Corone, I'm die, thank you. Because <clears throat> that's about it. Kind of need to watch the firefalls, though. Yep. Just me and you, Puffer Man. Ah, no panic, only resignation. Oh, there's something else happening somewhere. Huh, I wonder what that sound was. Well, that's fine. I thought the game was over there. It definitely made it feel like it was. Oh well. You know what though? I've been streaming for a good while now. I figure watching what's probably my last hope of salvation get destroyed in front of me. It's a good way to end the stream. So, just want to take a moment and thank everybody that came out today. I appreciate y'all for sticking around and watching this go through. Bot the Builder was partially successful in building a base, and then everything went to crap. Again. Even worse than last time. But that's fine. As it is, I just wanted to say thank you all for hanging out on the stream. It has been a good time, and I will see you on either Saturday or Sunday on Twitch, or I'll see you again next Monday on YouTube where... Um, maybe we continue this or maybe we start on creative mode or I don't know. Keep an eye on my Twitter, Angelo underscore Fragnarok. Excuse me, Angelo Fragnarok no underscore. And I'll let you know what I'm thinking in the future. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and save the game. And y'all have a great week and I hope to see you next time.